What is up guys? Welcome back to the Travel Sick Van Build. If you're new around here then thanks very much for joining us. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you've been here before then welcome back and thanks for watching along with us. Now what are we on with today I hear you ask? So as always, we have lots to get done. We're gonna install the doors for the overhead cabinets that we haven't done yet. We're gonna cut the worktop for the kitchen, so cut some width off it. And we're also planning to start the bed frame today. We have a lot more to get done, but if you don't know already, van building is so expensive. So we need to wait for payday really before we can get any more done. But hopefully we can achieve all of those things today. So let's get cracking. Hello, Josh. Hello. There we are with the first of the doors that I said we need to get done. So these are the ones that we've done already if you haven't seen last week's video. So all we did was installed magnet clasps to the bottom of the door. So now you can hear from that click, they shut nicely now and stay in place. So these shouldn't pop open when we're driving. Just have to look which way I've put these on. Oh, that snaps nice, isn't it? Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful, I tell you. <laughs> Magnetic hinges, talk to me. <laughs> Where did these come from, Josh? The magnet hinges? Amazon. That's not gone through, is it? Okay. No, that's all right. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Come on, the blood's <laughs> rushing out my arm from holding it up. <laughs> I need to put it down. You need to do something. <sighs> and what you do is you push this onto here like so. Mm -hmm. Leave it a couple of seconds. Yeah. Give it a little kiss <laughs> for the majestic uh, work in there. And when you lift it up, that'll be stuck there. Oh, and that's how you know where to put it. You need two screws. Oh, you are a clever sod, aren't you? No, mm, that's why you just meant to do it. No. Oh. <laughs> Granted, it's not, on a, not on a, it's on an angle, but... I did notice the other ones were on angles, actually, and I did wonder why, but now that makes sense. Not, I wasn't criticising it. <laughs> yeah, you were. <laughs> ah! Oh, get the other one in it, hello. Oh, we can get this knob in. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's missing a knob. Lovely. There we have the last of the doors complete. Just need to fit some knobs now. And who better to do it than this giant knob himself? <laughs> These need to go. Knobhead. That's the overhead cabinets complete now. I'm proper chuffed with them. I think they look really nice. I'm glad we went with the Hessian. Yeah, proper pleased with them. Opening and closing nicely. Job well done. Right, we're gonna cut the worktop now. Wish us luck.
perfect cut. Thank God. Oh, get a plunge saw in your life. They make the job so much easier. Oh, pretty damn good though. Literally couldn't have done any better with no. that. Oh, we like when things go well. Oh, it's all coming together now. Oh, doesn't that look nice? It sure was a perfect cut as well. It was. Oh yeah, I'm well pleased with that. Looks proper homely now, doesn't it? It's, it's actually looking like a camper van. Yeah, I'm well pleased with that. And it actually goes really well with the ceiling, doesn't it? Yeah, because that's one thing we were worried about, weren't we? Yeah. Oh, yeah, well chuffed. Josh, do some, like, kitchen prep. Pretend you're working. Just simulate <laughs> what life is going to be like in the camper van. All right, simulate. Ali, make me tell <laughs> Come on, I want to see some chopping action or something. Cooking, frying. <laughs> All right, can I, just, can, I get to, can I get to the tap? <laughs> That taps literally could be right next to the plug. Yeah, it will, but you're not going to be hitting your head because why, why would you. We might have to have to tap this side. Yeah, that doesn't matter. So if it doesn't splash water in the plug. Yeah, good point, actually. That was a pretty poor decision putting that there. Well, in, in hindsight, we should have waited until we'd got the kitchen in place before deciding where to put that, but hey, how? We could still put the sink at this side. Uh, it's just that all the cooking smells will end up on your bed. Yeah, I think I'd rather have the cooker by the door. I've still Stick got to the original plan. I've got enough room to, to work even with the door in there now, haven't I? Yeah. Just and I open, open the cupboard doors as well. Let me just get my uh, tin of beans out of here. <laughs> that I'm not allowed. Beans are not allowed. <laughs> okay, so I, I hate beans. I hate the smell of them. I hate the look of them. I won't have anything to do with beans. But so you eat spaghetti, which is exactly the same. It's not the same. Spaghetti is not the same as beans. Beans are vile. They're just ugh. I have a bit of a phobia of them. They're just. Ugh. But anyway, yeah. Ah, lovely kitchen. Oh. We're only there, are they? We are. And then we've got to do the shower. Oh, don't. I'm not ready for that. I need to mentally prepare. Right, we're going to make a start on the bed now and we've decided that we're going to go for 105 centimetres tall. We don't want it too tall that we can't actually get in it, but we also want to maximise on space in the garage area, so we felt like that seemed like a good middle ground. So 105, just to show you on camera, takes it to just under the windowsill and in that 105 we've accounted for the mattress as well, so we've allowed for like, say a 25 centimeter mattress or something we probably won't have one that thick but we just didn't want to be in bed and then cover up these windows that we've cut out so we're gonna go with that It's a really exciting prospect that once this bit has been built we'll actually be able to use it we won't have like running water or anything but we could in theory still go away and just like have electric cook up so yeah it's it's nice that we'll get into the stage where we'll actually be able to use it <laughs> we're definitely not in summer anymore are we no <laughs> it's cold how different it makes like the whole experience when you're doing it in the cold so glad this is the last of our door right? oh me too yeah. I feel like a dentist's assistant doing this. <laughs> so Josh is going to start screwing in the bed posts now. So what height have you done it Josh? What height are these base ones, the legs? centimetres. What are you thinking? You look deep in thought.
this little frame that Josh has just built is to house our fridge so we've based it off the measurements for the domestic fridge which I think is probably going to be the one that we go for but if not it should be similar in size anyway so now that we've got that mapped out we should be able to get the rest of the frame built one thing that I will just point out which might help you if you haven't reached this stage yet is um, so originally we had this post here um, nailed in here where my foot is but the problem we had was that the door wouldn't shut because obviously you've got this black uh, I don't know what you'd call it but this thing that comes into the van anyway when you shut the door and it was hitting the post so we couldn't shut the doors so just bear that in mind before you start screwing in your beams Are you excited to go on some van trips Millie Mae? Ah, I think she is! <laughs> This is how I'm having to manoeuvre about now that the bed frame is being built. <laughs> oh. Right, I'll show you from this view now that I'm on, back on my feet again. So, there's our lovely little fridge house. We don't actually have enough wood to complete it today, which is annoying. So we might have to wait until next weekend, but made the bare shell of it anyway. We're trapped inside the bed frame now. <laughs> Josh has nailed us in. Low can you go? Not that low. Oh. Right, Josh has just added a centerpiece in, so this bit feels really, really strong now. So I'm pushing on that, and it's really strong, but this bit's flexing a bit. Like if you push on it, Josh, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it is flexing a bit. So he's just going to put a center piece of wood down here. Not too, if I've got enough wood. Just to make it really sturdy. I think these slats are hard enough. Well, I do. I've bought them now. Here's our centrepiece. Why do you want the bed to be so strong, Josh? What are you planning to do on it? Huh? Why do you want the bed to be so strong? Because. What are you planning to do on it? Well, you see how I was drilling that screw in? <laughs> then, um you know. It's probably sturdy when you screw in the drills in. <laughs> I like that analogy. Oh, now I need the good old garage space that we're going to have. So this is this is the entire floor plan for the for the garage area, literally where I'm standing, so all up here, all of this middle bit. <laughs> There's actually more garage space than there is living space. <laughs> the living space has rapidly decreased now. <laughs> Two screws, please. But of course, Joshua. Thank you. Two screws. Here. What would I like? It's still not 100%. I think it needs something in the middle. Just explain what you're doing here, this side bit. Just bolting something on. So yeah, but can... it's. This is just pure for the slats to go on. It probably doesn't make sense, but the slats will end there, but I want the slats to end here. So, so we don't lose our pillows? No, that's quite weak. So, uh, problem. What? Yeah, it's fine. Got plenty of room. God, our pillows are going to come back, aren't they? They're going to fall down the gap. It's going to be annoying. But there isn't really another way you could do it. Yeah, there is. 
you could could you like not like attach some yeah 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 to make like a, a back on it yeah that's the problem that we had in the transporter there was quite a big gap between the doors when you shut them and the, the back of the bed frame so it meant that when you're in bed you're always having to pull your pillows forward aren't you because otherwise you lost them down the gap which was pretty annoying well you didn't always lose them down the gap there you did when you were trying to sit against the back doors though didn't you that was annoying i think i need another piece of wood just to support that minute across the middle yeah so these are the bed sats that we got. We got these from IKEA because they're they're not a bad price. Forty pound were they for two? Something like that. I was literally just about to say I can't remember how much they were now. We think around forty pounds ish. Doubled in price. Ah. We have bed sats. I really want to get on them, but Josh doesn't think that it'll hold my weight, <laughs> so I better not, because no, my luck, I'd get on them, they'll break, and that's quite a big fall, <laughs> to fall from there down there, so yeah, I think I'll give that a miss. Right, that's one set of slats in place. Just need to do the other side and that middle beam that I mentioned because we're just a bit worried that it might not hold a weight. It will hold the weight, it's just if you it's disaster recovery, so if you ever did it ever did give way, you you're not gonna fall straight onto a mattress. Well you got a mattress anyway, but it's, you've got another layer of support. Yeah, I think I'd feel more comfortable knowing there was a bit more support underneath me. I think we're going to have to get Wix again, aren't we? Yep, good old Wix. The 20th time today. <laughs> so this gives us now a nice idea of what it's going to be like once we're actually in here using it. So, <laughs> move my big head out of the way. The other slats have been put in place now. I've not screwed them down or anything, but it's just so we can see everything. Josh also needs to sort the plum in, so we're thinking we're not going to screw those in, because otherwise it's going to make access really, really awkward. But that's our bed anyway. We think we're gonna get like a little step here. Not not make one, just like those fold up steps and then we can store it in this gap or something. But yeah, we've got a lovely big bed. I really want to get on it. <laughs> oh, yeah, it should be nice. Millie's already made herself at home. Yep, little house for the fridge. Yeah. Looking good, Brev. It is. Oh, I'm still loving the worktop. top. Oh, it's not the perfect colour. I wasn't sure if it was going to be the right colour, but yeah. it is the perfect colour. It is, it's really nice. Millie, what? she keeps looking at the uh, the Max Air fan. <laughs> she wonders what it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How is it, Melly? Knobs <laughs> <laughs> ah, for the cupboard doors going on. I'll give you a nod. Shush. Effort into that. Oh, fuck. Oh, don't. What? Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. You reckon my paint work? Paint work? You reckon the door? You didn't want this one this day, did you? Um, no, because that one's kind of stuff. a little bit. Yeah, you stuff it So I'll get them out. Well, I'm 100 at the minute. Oh. Is that one okay? Is it not marked or anything? Okay. It does matter. It's, it's the first one you see. No, the first knob you'll see is mine when you open that door. Oh, shit. Sure. Because I'm a new, as I enter my nudist camp. So, look. Lovely. Lovely job, Lee. Yeah, smash it up. 
No, wrong drill. Can stop now. This is my confession tape. <laughs> <laughs> Why have you put it at a really awkward angle? Um, I don't know. Oh. You're, you're. Oh, hold on, it needs to go further back. Right. I don't like them. Try it now. I look like I'm a prisoner. Shall I say it or you? What? Whatever. What are we saying? Um, we're going to end today here. <laughs> Let me try again. Right, guys, we're going to end today here. <laughs> Right guys, we're gonna end. <laughs> what what sort of yeah. Right guys, we're gonna end today's video here and we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Bye! Mm. Good morning guys, it's day two of this week's Van Bill video. Today we're sort of running down a list of things we've got to do. Um I'm sorry if you can hear Ali's uh I don't know if you can see out there, but she's mowing the grass. She stole that job from me about two years ago and I've never had it back. So so one thing we've done this morning is we've created a list on our phone of things we need to do. So it looks like we've got quite a, not a lot of bits to do, it's just really small stuff. And there is some big things in there, like fitting the LPG tanks and the water tanks. But I think we're starting to see the end of this now, especially when we're writing a list of things to do. So one of the things we've got to do today is we've got to uh, change out the fuses. So uh, one of the, somebody messaged and said the circuit breakers and not the safest thing and to change to inline fuses so that's something I want to do today and I've also got an isolator switch that I want to fit as well so we're going to get started with that um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to fit the shelves into the kitchen unit and um, fit the worktop so we're going to secure that down and then Ali is going to paint those so yes let's get cracking so these are what I'm looking to switch out today is these little circuit breakers you see we've got on that black cable I've got one there and then I've got some I've got one at the front and one at the back so we're putting these mini fuses in, midi fuses. And then the isolated switch then will fit in between the battery and the fuse box. Alright, Josh is currently fiddling about with the electrics board. Uh, I think we're going to try and screw it in place today. And while he's doing that, I've got to paint the kitchen shelves, so I'm going to go and do that now, and then hopefully that will be the last of the painting. See how Joshua is getting on with the electrics. Any progress? Um. Yeah, I think so. I've put the inline fuses are in now instead of the circuit breakers, so I'm just adding an extra bit of an extra length to the these. The bolt's not very long, so I'm extending that so I can get all them on. Just wanted to show you the first bit of decor that we bought for the van. So um, I got these two scatter cushions. They actually came from Asda and they were. Uh, no, it doesn't say. I'm sure they're around like eight pounds each, something like that. Um, and I just like the herringbone print on them. And it's I, I like them because they're just nice and neutral. I love any neutral colours. And the plan is um, to have like a kind of beigey colour cushion on this bit and then there'll be one on the back as well. I actually wish that I got two more now because I could have had two in that corner, two in that corner, but I might still be able to get them, I'll say, but yeah, pleased with them. So what Josh is doing now is just building like a little frame that will sit around the battery and it will just hold it in place so it's a bit more protected just when we're out on the road and stuff. I don't know, have straps attached to it, but... Yeah. Yeah, so I'll have, um, are they called lock straps? Like ratchet straps. Yeah, just going around it as well, but so just to hold it in place as well. There we go, that's the frame put around it now. And uh, Josh has also screwed in the electrics board as well, so that's firmly in place now. It's looking very nice. Our solar is happy, he's got a little smiley face. So it must be pulling in some sun. I don't know from where though, because it's horrible today. You need light. Yeah. Well, this, these mock crystalline panels are supposed to be really good for when it's dead. Oh, well, that's good then. So yeah, I think that's uh, the electric's pretty much done, is it, apart from the inverter? Yeah, I just need to wire the inverter in now, which we'll do when we've got it. Yeah. I don't know where it's going to go though. Uh, but yeah, 
pretty pleased with that. Well done, Josh. It's a bit cable junction down there, but like you said, it does the job, doesn't it? Yeah. And everything works, so that's the main thing. I'm a lot more excited for this than I should be, but we're going to have our first ever hot drink in the van. Ah, I'm really excited. We're going to use um, the camping stove that we used to use in the transporter, because obviously we've not got ours fitted yet. So uh, yeah, exciting times. And I bought a box of stuff that actually came out of the transporter, so it's got like UHT milk, cereal, all sorts in it. So now that the cupboards are done, I can finally start putting stuff in its home, which is exciting. There we go, our first ever cup of tea and cup of coffee in the van. Aww. I'm more excited about it than you are, clearly, but it's little things that make me happy. Why is this cup really Cheers. hot? It's really hot. It's enamel. Yeah, it's a safety hazard. First bit of food to go into the van. Some uh, children's cereal. And of course, <laughs> a pot noodle, because <laughs> you have to, don't you? Oh, we got to get some. Well, we're definitely not going to run short of cereal. <laughs> Gosh, I need you to hold the cupboard. I can't do this. so satisfying filling your cupboards so we have all the cereal pot noodle and we got some marshmallows just in case we ever have like a disposable barbecue or anything toasted marshmallows yum 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 Guys, I've just given the uh, shelves for the kitchen another coat of paint um, and it's looking like it's going to rain now so I don't think I'll be able to do another one today but we've got two down anyway so hopefully I'll be able to do the rest after work tomorrow and while I've been doing that Josh has fixed the worktop into place so I've got brackets that are now holding it in so it won't like fly off when we're driving or anything which is good and we've also ordered our mattress now believe it or not I know looking at it it doesn't look like super huge but this is actually a super king um bed so um <laughs> that's gonna be amazing sorry i sound really out of breath it's bad isn't it all i've done is walked from um our house to the van <laughs> oh god i need to get some exercise um but yeah this is a super king bed so josh has ordered the mattress which is a super king mattress and uh, he we ordered it from dormeo so hopefully it'll be a nice quality one we've actually got a dormeo one on uh, our own bed uh, in the house so that's nice so hopefully this will be the same and when it comes we just need to cut a bit off it off the length I think um, so it's like a foam one so hopefully we'll be able to get into it okay and just sort of cut it down to the size that we need um, and I think that's everything it's just been a bit of bitten and bobbing this weekend um, because like I said like <laughs> one building if you haven't started yours already is so so bloody expensive so um, we're at the stage now where we need to get paid before we can start buying stuff again so luckily we get paid on friday so it's not too bad um and yeah then next week i think the plan is to crack on with the shower because we need to get these walls sorted and eventually get some plumbing in here we'll sort the bed out um and then it's just going to be like little odd jobs so I don't know, maybe order the sink and the hob and get those cut out. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end the video here. Um, thank you, as always, 
very much if you've watched along with us. Um, if you haven't already, please do give us a thumbs up and a subscribe because it really would mean the world to us. But yeah, thanks so much guys. See you on the next episode.